This is journey's end for one of the few remaining routes out of Russia. Two trains a day run from St. Petersburg to the Finnish capital Helsinki. It's a service that has seen a five-fold spike in bookings since the start of the war in Ukraine. I'm not sure we are coming back uh, in like one or two months because uh, we are afraid of staying in Moscow right now. Anything could happen. And we're afraid that the borders might close. We're afraid that uh, the economy might not recover. Many of our friends left Russia. They went to Georgia. They went to Dubai. Airspace closures have created bottlenecks for Russians with the means to leave. Hundreds have queued at the border with Latvia. A seat on the Helsinki train can mean an onward flight to anywhere in the world, but tickets are hard to come by. These trains were running at 20% of capacity before the start of the war. Now they're fully booked, with around 500 Russians arriving in Finland every day. Some are returning to Russia too, but the numbers coming into Finland are set to rise. So now we are just, you know, want to add one more train per day, starting from the next week. So we are just negotiating about that. We want to keep the train traffic open, that people can travel uh, from Russia and, of course, also back to Russia if uh, they have some reason to travel. On the platform, few of those we spoke to were actively emigrating. Some work in Finland, others are seeing family while they can or getting back to homes abroad. That's the only link left, you know. I mean, for people to go to relatives and uh, it's a terrible situation. It's uh, like somebody is dead in your house. I'm 50 percent uh, Ukrainian, 50 percent Russian. So for us, it's a, it's a huge tragedy. While that tragedy continues, it's Ukrainians who need a safe haven here and elsewhere in Europe. As the number of refugees approaches two million. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Helsinki.